Good morning, church. It's a joy to be with you today. If you're new to New Life, please fill out the visitor card located on the back of the seat in front of you. If you're online, go to newlifeag.net slash connect to let us know if you're visiting with us. Here are the upcoming events here at New Life this week. Kids Choir will start back up on Sunday night, November 1st. Kids ages 5 through the 6th grade may join for a time of learning new songs and having fun. All Kids Choir members will sit with their families during the praise and worship portion of the main service and then come to rehearsal in the Kids Church Room when Miss Lori and Miss Becky exit the sanctuary. The Kids Choir will not be doing a Christmas musical this year, but will sing some previously learned songs and new songs in the Sunday services. Miss Lori and Miss Becky are excited about singing again. Come join them! On November 1st, we will be celebrating Pastor Appreciation Sunday. On that day, we will be taking up a special offering for our pastors. Our deacon board asks that you would please pray about giving to honor our leaders. Continue to pray for each of our pastors and their families as well. There are always opportunities for you to get involved in ministry here at New Life. A couple areas where we would welcome help are nursery, especially on Sunday nights with kids choir starting back, safety team who helps keep our church safe during services, and the green team who works outside maintaining the grounds. If you're interested in helping in any of these areas, please go to newlifeag.net and scroll down to the volunteer at New Life section. We appreciate your willingness to serve. Be a part of our online Bible study starting November 2nd. This eight-week class on how to read the Bible will meet online Monday nights from 8 to 8.30 p.m. Visit newlifeag.net slash Bible study to sign up now. Good morning, New Life. My name is Pastor Dakota, and I invite you to stand this morning as we transition to worship together. Before we worship, I want to read from 1 Chronicles 16, verses 8 through 12. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim His greatness. Let the whole world know what He has done. Sing to him, yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Exult in his holy name. Rejoice, you who worship the Lord. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Remember the wonders he has performed, his miracles and the rulings he has given. Remember, church, as we worship him this morning, we have something to praise him about. God has performed so many miracles in our lives. He has died and risen again for our sins so that we can be saved and restored with the Father in heaven. I invite you this morning to sing from your hearts, to praise God for being the great Father that He is. Lord, I just thank you, God, for being such a good, good Father. I thank you for your kindness and your goodness, God. I thank you, God, for blessing us more than we could ever imagine. Lord, we just invite you here this morning. We invite you into our hearts and into our lives to help us, Lord, to change us, to mold us, to shape us, God, so we can be more like you. Lord, let our praises this morning not be simple words that we say, God, but let they be praises from our hearts, God. I pray that you would please, God, move in this service, move in our hearts, make a difference in our lives, God, change us, God. Lord, I just pray that your spirit would overflow in this place, that we would feel your presence, God, that you would change our hearts and change our lives so that we could be more like you. We invite you here today. We thank you in Jesus' name. 